Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a text based JavaScript game. I'm just going to show you what I made earlier. And this looks like a mess. But it's not that hard to make one. A game. That's good. I'm just going to run this. Yes. So that's how a game can look. A text based game can look. Okay. And this is what you have to start with. This is just a comment. And that's not needed. So, I don't know. And first you want to write var. Let's just call it two words. It's equal to prompt those things and a thing. Press write that. Sorry for this. Just write like uh, do you want to end? This is just a quick text based game. That's why I'm using the same stuff as in my other game. Door one, door, door two, question mark. And just take an if, sorry, if, just take those. I want to try to make it as clean as possible. Just write if doors is equal. To do one, then it will run this code. Else, if else, if sorry, is equal to door. Then this go. And then you just write like uh, you could write so a log, but I don't like to use that. So I use confirm. Is that how you write this mess? It was a while. Yeah, it's right. Good. Okay, I just want to be sure that I'm teaching you the right thing. You just put you entered. How do you spell that? Like that. And uh, you enter door one. You can edit all the variable, all of this variable. You can change doors to whatever you like, and you can change all the text. But whatever, like if we would change doors to. Uh, 
uh, let's say weapons then you just put like do you want weapon one or weapon two or whatever then you just take if weapons is equal to like weapon one and that kind of stuff yeah but behind door one is ah uh, is Harambe. Let's put a prompt. Wait. Uh, bar. Uh, choice. Choice is equal to prompt. What do you want to do? Question mark. Tag war. Uh, talk. Do you just need to make another? If I know this looks massive. But it's going to the choice if sorry. Equal to attack. I'm just gonna change this to capital attack, then do that. And if as if choice is equal to talk confirm. Attacked. Give it to six guys. Uh, yeah, you attacked her on me. Wait, let me ask. I just got some water. That's why I'm gonna burn. And you can change whatever all right all of this all of these variables and all of this text here this text but you just has to remember to change this to yeah but this is far and yes and now I'm on a Linux computer but let's just You got curb. You got stomped on by Rahampe. And because I'm just going to do so if you get stomped on by Harambe you lose and if talk then you just put a confirm yeah. you talk to as Harambe confirm he 
his he will not stomp on you. Let's just do uh, let's say stars too. And this looks like a clean fit. I'm just going to do it because I don't want it to be. So this looks nice. Here we go. Confirm. Uh, you enter to two confirm find door two. I know to this cookies. Where choice equals prompt to to. to pick up the this question mark but if Yeah, this looks much better. So, we'll start the same thing. Or, there we go. Yep. Choice equal to. Then confirm uh, if you guys if you guys want me to make a JavaScript tutorial I can do that. Uh, let's just see you pick I'm not that good at English, that's why. So the cookie. Bar. You. Ah. Noise. Is that noise? Behind you. And we can just create a variable called var choice equal to prompt you turn around and you see a cookie monster oh wait we're gonna do this 
Let's confirm. Confirm. It's good. Then we can click the button. Equal to prompt. Do you want to do tag tag or put down? The cookie. Let's go right as right cookies or attack. If we would to run and not save. And I'm just going to show you how you would probably see it uh, if then you would just put something like uh, there would be like a uh, option that's on txt uh, per usual you just have to change it to all files so yeah, if we go back and see if we can run this. Oh, we can. Yes. Sorry about that. A little bit inconvenient. Yes. Save as. This is great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, that's a script. Uh, tutorial. Dot. Here we go. Door. Yes. Picked up the cookies. You hear noise behind you. You turn around to see a cookie monster. And that sounds because we didn't because I didn't write the rest of the code. Yeah, but I think I'm going to end this episode here, or this tutorial here. Leave a comment, leave a like, and leave a comment if you want me to, want help or something like that. And write a comment and tell me if I should do a JavaScript tutorial. Bye!